Hey guys, Mr. Lopez here with today's Glow Devotional. Today we're going to be talking about having a discerning eye. And that word discerning just means knowing the difference between something that's good and something that's bad. An understanding of the differences between those two. So let's read Nehemiah chapter 6 verse 8 and verse 12. Chapter 6, verse 8 says, Then I sent unto him, saying, There are no such things done as thou sayest, but thou feignest them out of thine own heart. And then verse 12 says, And lo, I perceive that God hath not sent him, but that he pronounced this prophecy against me, for Tobiah and Sanballat had hired him. You see here that Nehemiah has got discernment. He understands the differences. He knows that these men were not sent, um, that they had been hired by Tobiah and Sanballat. He knows that. He can discern it. So there is the discernment, seeing the differences between. So today I went out to go see something that might be discerned or something that we could use in our world to discern. Two snakes is what I came up with. The coral snake and the scarlet king snake. Both of these snakes look so similar. They both have yellow bands. They both have brown bands. They both have black bands. The difference is, is that one is venomous and can kill you. And the other, it might hurt to be bit by them, but it won't kill you because it's not venomous. These two snakes are so very similar that it's hard to see the differences. So the differences I had to look up. The difference is that coral snakes, the venomous coral snake, has red bands that touch yellow bands. Red bands that touch yellow bands. So red next to yellow, but the scarlet king snake has red bands that touch black bands. Red bands touch black bands. So the differences are so subtle, so small, that sometimes discerning the difference between the two is very difficult. But if you know the differences, you can see them. You know red bands touching yellow, that means they're poisonous. But red bands touching black, they are not. Now, would I run from both of them? Yeah, like a scared little girl. I'd scream and run. I might jump up on a chair. I might call Mrs. Lopez and see if she might be able to help me out. Okay, she probably wouldn't get anywhere near them. But the fact is, is that I'm not sure I would even try to discern. But the differences are there. So you can, understanding and knowing, discern the difference. And that's exactly true in Nehemiah's case. In Nehemiah's case, he had gone to build the wall. You all know the story. He went to build the wall around Jerusalem. And he is doing this. And every single place that he goes, people are mocking him. They're saying that anything could knock over the wall. Even small animals could knock over the wall. They are joking and jeering at him. They're mocking him everywhere. Kings are trying to attack the wall. He discerned the fact that he needed something to happen. So he had men digging and building a wall while holding weapons and having people with weapons on the wall as well. He knew what was going on. This was a great leader, someone who discerned the fact that things were happening. There was even a time where he was trying to be lured out from behind the walls because the other kings couldn't come in. And so as he was being drawn out, he discerned that this was not right, that he would be killed if he left the confines of that wall, of that city. He knew the differences. So just like the snake, knowing the difference between a poisonous snake and a non-poisonous snake, that's great discernment. But in God's world, discerning the differences between maybe one Bible and another, that can be something that is very helpful for you.
discerning between right and wrong. Should I listen to my friends or should I listen to my parents? Should I do this or should I do that? What is the right thing to do? Will you discernment every single day? Even as kids, as young as you, you can use discernment to know the differences between the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do. So guys, today just talking about the right and wrong things to do. Know the differences. How can you know? Because God's word tells us the correct things to do. If it's in God's word, it's right. If he tells you to do it, it's correct. If he doesn't, it probably isn't. So guys, today, figuring out the difference between right and wrong and discerning that. Nehemiah had to be, had great discernment. And you can too, if you continue in God's word and study what he would have you to do. All right, guys, hopefully you don't run into any coral snakes out there. But if you do, remember, red touching yellow is venomous. Guys, have a great day. I pray that you use some great discernment in days to come. Thanks a lot. Have a great one.